Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today we're talking about the U.S. elections. 2020, November 2nd is coming up very soon. Everybody's been getting their mail-in ballots ready and um, so that they can do it COVID-free safely. Um, but we were excited and we wanted to share with you that we hung up our Trump 2020 banners outside our front door. Um, you guys have been asking, support him, um, and we do. We support him on most of the issues. Um, there's always a few that we kind of waver in between, between the Democrats and Republicans, but most of the time our vote in our favor goes on the Republican side, um, especially um, Trump's love for India and him and Modi G working together so nicely that we hope that it continues for the next four years. Um, right now, our vote is going to Trump for many reasons. Um, one, security. We feel like he will make sure it stays tight and strong. Um, there's been a lot of talk on the Democratic side to defund the police, and we don't agree with that. The police and the military are the people that keep us safe, that keep our freedom, that keep our borders secure, um, and, and we don't agree with that at all. Um, we know there is always going to be some bad apples, but in the most part, the police are the people that keep you safe. They keep the people from coming into your homes or into your shops. And we completely agree with Trump on that. Um, funding the police, funding the military, um, keeping everything tight at the borders, um, keeping their eye on China, definitely um, what we would like to see in the next coming years. Um, economy, before all this COVID, it's really hard. Um, with the coronavirus, they had to shut down the economy. They shut down a lot of uh, businesses and um, even the government offices were all closed for many months because of the coronavirus. Um, prior to that, um, you know, jobs, the economy was up, jobs were up, um, you know, for everybody. And, um, you know, and what he's done during this time to help people with stimulus, with some money, um, and businesses to give them money. Now, I know there's been a little you know, question about that, like, why are you giving big businesses money? Because they are not firing people, and people need jobs. So there's always a fine line of that. But with the economy and jobs, you know, making sure Americans are getting by, unemployment, you know, is giving money out, and the stimulus checks were given out to people, and I know they were giving money to companies so that they would continue to keep open and keep people in their jobs and pay them. Um, my job, I, I lost my job, um, but they were able because of Trump to get a loan to pay the teachers for the rest of the school year. And then um, this new school year, they are back at work um, with masks obviously and doing their best to keep all the children safe and everything clean. But I could not go back because we felt like the school being either every other week or all virtual and we chose all virtual, I had to stay home with the children. But before that, um, because of the things that Trump was doing, my work was able to get a loan to pay all the teachers for the rest of the school year, which they normally wouldn't have been able to do. They were only going to pay us for a couple weeks after they closed when they realized the shutdown was going to be a lot longer. Um, when they were able to apply for this loan, that's what they did. And so that helped the teachers and their families out immensely. So things like that, um, we definitely support Trump on. We support Trump on immigration. Um, we don't want open borders. We want people to come in. My husband is an immigrant. He came in doing his PhD, coming here to do a postdoc. You know, he did. we did all the paperwork. When he came here, he went through all the right channels the way he was supposed to go through. And then when he changed his status so he could stay here, he all the paperwork. This is how you have to do it. Obviously, there's exceptions. There's always going to be somebody that, you know, is being maltreated wrongly. And, you know, we take refugees in. But the door shouldn't be open for everybody under the sun to come in 
and then you can't keep track of it. It's the same with the CAA bill that went on, you know, in India. Like, you need to be able to know who's in your country so you can keep track of people, not just to tax them, but to know who who they are. Do they have criminal background? Are you going to worry about them being terrorists later on? You know, should you be tracking them? This is, the government needs to know these things. Um, so on immigration, we're definitely with Trump on. You know, when it comes to social issues, we kind of waver in between, um, you know, abortion. We don't 100% agree with the Republicans. We don't 100% agree with Democrats either. Um, we're somewhere on the fence uh, about that. You know, um, climate change. Definitely, definitely agree with climate change. I know the Republicans, that's one of those things we wish they would um, open their eyes a little bit more and, and see what we do does affect the earth, does affect the world, does affect the air and the climate. Um, and it's been going on for quite some time. So in that respect, you know, we would like to see some, some more issues go um, the other way because um, we do agree with the climate change. Um, but we feel like Trump and his office right now are going to be tough on China. They've been tough on China. Um, not tough enough. We'd like to see more. You know, we've seen some of the apps. We've seen, um, you know, the 5G, got rid of the 5G from Huawei. There, there's been a few big things that are tangible. Um, these, like, closing, you know, the consulates or, you know, um, now he sent over a thousand, he denied a thousand students that had some ties to the CCP and the government and the military, said that they weren't allowed to come in um, as students because they were doing work, they would be doing studies that would compromise security for the United States. It's big. That's what we want. We want there to be stronger things. They say every 10 hours there is a security breach from China that they have to open a file up for you know, and I don't know if it goes anywhere because China follows its own rules. Um, but anyways, this is what we need. We need the world and and we feel like Trump's administration can slap some more things on China. So hopefully they'll back off. Right now they are trying to take over the world. So when it comes to overall security, when it comes to overall like taking care of the people and being for the country, we feel like Trump and the Republicans is the way to go right now. Um, we've had some issues with um, Joe Biden not only feeling like he was going to be soft on China, but also Kamala Harris, who um, uses a lot of uh, vote bank, you know, um, in her favor or tries to anyway. So, um, just so you know that the Jan family is voting for Trump and that um, we support him and we hope he continues his friendship and his relationship with India, um, signs that Tibet bill. That's one of those things we, we keep sending to him that he needs to sign that Tibet bill um, to recognize Tibet as a free country um, so that the Holy Dalai Lama can go back. And um, so we can't wait to send our ballots in. Hopefully you guys are voting for who you feel like, if you're here in the U.S., who you feel like would be great to run this country. Um, we'll also have good relations with India. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.